plaintiff, Tia Davis, says when she met the defendant, she liked him and even tried to hit on him. But it didn't go anywhere because the defendant is gay. Tia claims the defendant's boyfriend did not like the fact that Tia wanted his man. But the defendant did not let that ruin their friendship. She's suing him for the balance due in a car, a ticket, and lost wages. Defendant Andre Strickland says he loves Tia and she's like a sister to him. And he's devastated that this situation has come to this. Andre does not believe he owes the full amount because Tia had him falsely arrested and he spent two days in jail. He's countersuing for lost wages. Start with you. Uh, well, Your Honor, Andre and I are very good friends. Um, met back in 2007. He was a part of a production company um, I had auditioned for. And uh, we hit it off very Audition well. Audition to produce what? For what I'm type a, of production? I am an aspiring artist, actress, singer, and okay. it was a talent show that his production company was putting on at the time. You didn't get the role? Uh, I got the role, but we ended up hitting it off more so as good friends. He even became my manager after okay. some time. Good. Um, Andre, I, I loved Andre, and uh, I actually tried to hit on Andre, um, and that didn't work out too well. Why? Because he's cute. I know. Why didn't it work out? Because Andre doesn't like my kind. Okay. <laughs> and that's fine. But we hit it off very well, and Andre's uh, boyfriend at the time did not like that very much. So it caused a little friction, but what I appreciated and respected is that Andre didn't let that or allow that to come between the friendship that we were building. Mm -hmm. We hit it off so well that we were pretty much inseparable. We were always going places together, doing things together. He seen me naked, I've seen him naked, I mean, respectfully, but nothing like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> But... How you all end up naked? <laughs> <laughs> I always joke with Andre, and his family and my family mm -hmm. knows that if he were not a gay man, that he would be my man. I know. How did you end up naked, though? Because I don't mind being naked. I'm looking for the circumstance, the scenario. You all are in the hotel together. We, we spent a lot of time together. And you say, I want to be with you, Andre, because you said you hit on him. And he says, no, but let's just sit here naked. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just asking you how that just doesn't sound, uh, you know, people who I don't want, or women who I might have a friendship with, and she might want to be in a relationship, and I don't, we don't, somehow, we never, we've never ended up naked. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I so, me and Doyle are friends. It's like the two of you all are friends. We've never ended up naked. That's why I want to know, how did you all end up naked? Okay. Well, the thing is, and, and I, I probably shouldn't have brought that up, but that's how close we were because we Okay, you don't want to tell me the scenario. Well, the scenario is that we spent a lot of time together and right, I would that's not intrude a scenario. on him. I would tr intrude on him mm -hmm. and he would not. That okay. wasn't a want for him, but I would just bust okay. in. All right. Do you want to give me some background and hopefully your boyfriend doesn't see her stumbling around about this question as to why <laughs> the two of you have been naked in each other's company? <laughs> I would be at Tia's house and she would walk around naked sometime, from time to time. Okay, and how about you? She would be at my house and I, she busting it on me. And you'd walk bed. around naked from time I, to time? Not so much, though. <laughs> well, how did she see you naked? She would bust into the bathroom. She did come into the bathroom one time. Because he's going to be my husband in the next lifetime. Oh. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell me about the friendship before we get to the car? Uh. You know, I, I, I love Tia a lot. Um, like she said, I've known her for about seven years. Um, she's like my sister. And uh, I just wish that we wouldn't have, we, we, we didn't have to come to this, this place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out this nakedness. I'm trying to use some examples. Because I'm just trying to help you out. Uh, Seriously, because your boyfriend, he's not going, did he, does, he, does your boyfriend know y'all get naked on we each other? We do not get naked, just let's You did. Yeah, you say you record. come over and she walks around naked. I mean. You say she comes over, she busts into the bathroom to see you naked. But yet she's just a, like a sister to you. That's what I'm just thrown off and I'm trying to clear it up. <laughs> 
for your boyfriend, but I, I don't think he's going to take these answers y'all are giving me. So you deal with that after this comes on. I, now let's get to I, the balance on the car and the lost wages that you're suing him for. Okay, back in 2000, September 2015, Andre and I went into a written uh, notarized agreement that he would purchase a 2002 Volvo from me. And we, he consistently paid up until June 2016. That was um, a breaking point for me because uh, starting in November of last year, 2015, tickets started coming in the mail. First few tickets, uh, my posture was fine. After the fourth or fifth ticket, I was irritated and my posture changed and my tone changed. So um, Andre uh, got a total of 10 tickets on my tags. And we verbally agreed uh, when we first did the written agreement that he would not get any tickets. Uh, again, after the fourth ticket is when my tone changed. I started cursing him uh -huh. out and calling him all types of names and things like that because I was irritated. Andre didn't like the way that I was speaking to him. So, therefore, he started to... His, his posture changed, and he was no longer <laughs> being the sweet Andre that I know. And we started having more verbal altercations. I've told Andre I will box him like a dude if... <laughs> He continues, you know. <laughs> Did you do that? Yes. Oh, what are you in your posture change? <laughs> <laughs> what are your posture change? All right, so you all fell out over the tickets. Yes. So tell me about the car. Uh, the Andre thing. sent me an email in June telling me that he was going to pay his half for the insurance, but he didn't have the money for the, t um, for the car. And he did not tell me when he would pay for the car. At that time, I took the matter to the law because in my uh, written agreement, um, I did tell him that if he did not pay, that it will be legal action. You have that? Yes, sir. Love Andre. And uh, I actually tried to hit on Andre, um, and that didn't work out too well. Why? Because he's cute. No, no, why didn't it work out? Because Andre doesn't like my kind. Okay. Plaintiff Tia Davis is suing her friend who claims Tia had him falsely arrested. As a result, he spent two days in jail. Go ahead. I went to the uh, police department only because I wanted my tags. I never wanted the vehicle back. I wanted my payments for the vehicle, but I wanted the tags. Andre refused to give me the tags, so it pushed me to go and file a report. Now, I never intended for anything malicious to happen to Andre, him being arrested or anything like that. That is not, that's not well, he true. He was arrested. He, um, I never intended for Andre to be arrested, uh -huh. but in filing for my tags, they said that I had to do a UUV, which is an unauthorized use of the vehicle, because the tags become the and car. And what happened? Andre was arrested. Something that I did not want to happen, but it's a part of the process. And um, the whole thing was... Sir, did you stay in jail? I or did you stay would in jail. Or you would got out? It was just a fine? They arranged you and let you go? I stayed in jail for two days. Was it a weekend or something? It was not a weekend. It was... Um, Fourth of, Ju Fourth of July weekend was coming up. Ooh. Fourth of July weekend was coming up, but this happened on a Wednesday. You didn't want him to go to jail? I didn't want Andre to go to jail. I just wanted my tags. What do you say, sir, regarding her tags, the balance on the car, and your lost wages are for what? My lost wages are for the three days that I missed from for work. The three days. That Eighteen missed. hours at thirty-five dollars an hour. Well, starting with the lost wages, Tia went to court. She didn't have to do that because she could have communicated. She did, and unless this is. Uh, Something uh, malicious, then you don't know, get lost wages. Malicious meaning you did it intentionally to try and um, cost her some days at work. And she could have easily communicated with me. She did not Let's have get to get to the. Uh, why? Don't tell me about she could have easily. Why haven't you paid? Well, I didn't pay because I fell on hard times. And okay. I emailed her to let her know. Um, you but know, he, that you I was did not, not tell going me. To make the $150 payment, Tia took it and thought that I wasn't going to make any more payments on the vehicle at all. Okay. Why she came to that conclusion is beyond me, totally beyond me. I had made every single payment up until that point and had planned to continue making the payments until I got arrested and this became a legal matter. All right. Well, you're not denying owing her. That's the key point, right? 
Well, I think that I should not have to pay her. Anything. Why? I think that because she went and got the law involved, she did not have to do that. She could have easily come to me, communicated with me to let me know that she wanted her tags in the first place. Yeah, Didn't you I, ask for your tags? I asked for the tags and I have text messages where Andre you is... you telling me she didn't ask you, sir? These are the text messages where Andre is telling me that the tags are a part of him purchasing the vehicle. Tia asked and they were not... for the tags at one, at one time and then she gave me the tags back. Sir, I see the evidence that um, she communicated with you and did everything but beg you. And um, your counterclaim for 640, how does she owe you, sir? Well, I ended up in jail because Tia went and fall, filed false charges that I stole her vehicle. Um, I did not She steal didn't, her uh, did I... you file false charges that he stole the vehicle? Absolutely Let's not. See what and you have. here's the, what I filed it was for the tags. And because the law is written the way it is in Maryland, the tags are on the car, they become one. So I couldn't just file for the tags. I mm -hmm. had to do it as an unauthorized use of the vehicle. Because what year is the vehicle? 2002. 2002. And it says vehicle tags. And for less, and it says the value of the theft <laughs> is less than $1,000. The type of theft, vehicle tags. That's exactly what she said. So they jailed you for that, sir. Your counterclaim is dismissed. And then, ma'am, with regard uh, to your claim, I'll give you everything except for the lost wages. You want six thirty for the lost wages. So we'll say $2,180 minus $630. Is $1,550. All right, that's your judgment, ma'am, $1,550. Have a good day. <laughs>